Hi, my name is Daniel Ng, and I'm a PhD student in anthropology at the University of Texas at Austin, working in the Asian Division at the Library of Congress. And my name is Bennett Comerford. I'm a doctoral student in the Committee on the Study of Religion at Harvard University, specializing in South Asian religions and comparative studies. This summer, I'm also working in the Library of Congress Asian Division. Our work this summer as junior fellows has been to identify and gather data on a recently added collection of Bengali, Austin and his Bangla materials from the Franklin Book Program. In this presentation, we'll introduce you to the Franklin Book Program and its history. Then we'll take a closer look at the Bengali titles that make up this collection to give you a richer picture of the breadth of materials that are currently housed at the Library of Congress. Franklin Book Programs Incorporated, a private nonprofit corporation, was established in 1952 as a joint venture between the American Library Association's International Relations Committee and publishers from the American Book Publishers Council Foreign Trade Committee. The purpose of the initiative was to assist developing countries in the creation, production, distribution, and use of books and other educational materials. For over a decade, Franklin Book Programs helped facilitate the publication of approximately 3,000 titles in Bangla and other languages, such as Urdu, Yoruba, Arabic, and Indonesian. According to Luis S. Robbins, the Franklin Book Program also involved the intelligentsia of each country in the process of book selection and translation and established both a publishing infrastructure and a market for US books in areas where there had been none. The program was dissolved in June 30th of 1978. And in the spring of 1970, the remaining assets, including nearly 3000 books were donated to the Library of Congress to help support the Center for the Books International Program. The expressed objectives of uh, proposed activities that accompanied the donation included, one, to strengthen the role of books and the printed word in developing countries by encouraging the growth of publishing, improve distribution of educational materials and the growth of library systems, two, to improve the two-way international flow of books and educational materials, and three, to encourage the reading habit, literacy, and book use in developing countries. As junior fellows, our work this summer has focused on a subset of Bengali texts from the Greater Franklin Book Programs collection. Daniel will now tell us a bit more about these fascinating materials. This summer, Ben and I have been working closely with the library's Asian division to inventory the 331 Bangla language Franklin program books that it currently has in its collection. Produced between the years of 1957 and 1976, these 331 works represent the collective efforts of some 39 different local publishing houses located in what was then East Pakistan, now present day Bangladesh. As Ben pointed out earlier, one of the key principles that guided the project was an emphasis on local collaboration. In East Pakistan, as elsewhere, this meant working with local dignitaries, such as professors, cabinet ministers, and even generals to select appropriate titles, translate into Bangla, and edit the books that would eventually be included into the Franklin program. Collaboration also meant working with local artists to design cover art that would follow local conventions of style and aesthetics. Keeping this aspect of local partnership in mind, let's now take a closer look at some of these Bengali books. In the library's collection, you'll find some familiar literary classics such as Herman Melville's Moby Dick, Mark Twain's The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, and Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter. However, the vast majority of the Franklin books in Bengali can be categorized as works of nonfiction. Their subjects ranging anywhere from science, math, and technology, to biography, to instructional how-to guides as well. Translated works in these categories include such titles as Women of Modern Science by Edna Yost, a collection of political speeches made by Pakistani Prime Minister Liaquat Ali Khan, and a Bangla version of the Columbia Viking Desk Encyclopedia. We would like to give special thanks to our mentors in the Asian division, Charlotte Giles and Jonathan Lohr, for presenting us with this opportunity and supporting our work. We look forward to continuing to assist in the library's efforts to make these important materials more accessible to the general public.